In the last video, we used the script to change the properties of the base plate, but did you notice how we had to type out game.workspace.baseplate each time we wanted to change a property? It's not too bad if you're just changing one or two things, but if we want to change a lot of properties, this will get tedious and will be really hard to read. Fortunately, we can make our lives easier by using variables. In an earlier video, we stored strings and numbers inside of variables, but we can store Roblox objects like parts in variables as well. To do this in a script, we first type the word local, then the name of our variable. I'm going to name this variable myBasePlate. Then we use the equal sign to say we want to store something in the variable. Then we have to tell the game which part to store. Just like when we set the property of a part, we have to tell the game where to find it. To save the baseplate, we type game.workspace.baseplate. To change the property of a part stored in a variable, all we have to do is type the name of the variable, then dot, then the property we want to change. Just like before, let's change the transparency and color of the baseplate. So I'm going to type the name of the variable, my baseplate, then dot, then transparency, then equals, then 0.5. We can do the same for brick color, just my baseplate dot brick color equals brick color dot blue. If we hit run, we can see that this works just like the last video, but the code is much easier to write and read. One thing to note about the local keyword, we only need to use local the first time we store a value in a variable. If we use the variable again in the same script, we don't need to use the word local.